Welcome back to the beautiful Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This is the Quantum CBD H2O HD MMA 13. An exciting night of fights here inside the cage. This is Andrew Spino cage side with the champ Emmanuel Rivera, Emmanuel Brandon Wright versus Ron Wetzelein. Two fighters really looking to establish themselves in the 170 division. What should we expect in this fight? Uh, well, Brandon Wright is definitely a guy that uh, is tough. You know, he's, uh, he's had a couple uh, tough losses, a few tough losses, and he's, he's back, and he, he doesn't let the mental game get to him. So he's, uh, you got to give him respect for being back and definitely being back in the cage and testing himself. Uh, man, West, Westline... This guy, uh, was it Wetzelein? Yeah, West, Wetzelein, that's how you pronounce Wetzelein. it. Wetzelein. Wetzelein. Uh, this guy is strong. He's uh, definitely a, a really strong opponent against, uh, against Wright. I've seen this guy fight. He fought Hickey, Tanner Hickey, which was a great, uh, a great fight. But Tanner Hickey ended up getting submitted, I believe, at HDMMA 12 by Wetzelein. So we saw a lot of good stuff from Wetzelein, a good, strong grappler. Uh, he, he looked pretty well-rounded as, as far as uh, whenever I saw him, but he is 38 years old, so it is very impressive for this guy. And if you look at him, he does not look like he's 38 years old. He looks, you know, he looks, uh, his body looks better than mine. So, you know, he's, uh, he's definitely in shape and ready to compete. I think I remember 38 years old, and I know I didn't look that good. <laughs> Ron Wetzelon stepping into the cage with a one-and-one one record. Taking on Brandon Wright, looking for his fourth win in his career. Both fighters are in the cage. Let's send it up into the ring to the outlandish Gerald Whalen. Ladies and gentlemen, the action is right here at Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at an official 169 pounds. From Chickasha, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, the record right. And his opponent, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at an official 169 pounds. From Anadarko, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, All right, here we go. Brandon Wright in the blue trucks. Ron Wetzelein in the gray. These two looking to bring themselves to the next level in MMA. This is kind of a career-defining fight for each of these guys. Emmanuel Rivera, what should we expect? We should definitely expect Brandon Wright to come out <laughs> just like that. <laughs> As uh, he is. Westline, we saw uh, Tanner Hagen come out, you know, kind of strong against Westline. Westline is a very composed guy. He, uh, he definitely has good takedowns. And, you know, once he gets on the ground, he's very dangerous. So Brandon Wright has to be careful and cannot let this guy get under hooks as he is right now. But Well, in most cases, age is usually a disadvantage for a fighter. But what kind of uh, what kind of advantages does being 38 years old bring? It, it depends, obviously, uh, when you started training. Obviously, if uh, he started training a little earlier, these, the the age will be you know uh, an advantage. But I don't know that this is going to be an advantage or not. They're they're both good, tough you know fighters. Uh, but it's definitely uh, I think Westline is going to have. It looks like he has a better technique as far as grappling. And as the last fight that I saw, Westline, he really was composed against a tough, tough Tanner Hickey, a guy that uh, a lot of people expected a lot of. Um, and yeah, it, it, it looked, Tanner Hickey is no slouch. No, and he looked great against Westline, but Westline ended up, uh, you know, getting that finish, I believe, by a guillotine or uh, some kind of choke, if I remember right. Uh, but definitely a tough fight, and he's very good on the ground. I mean, he, he comes out of, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, he comes out of Andarka, Oklahoma, so First, First Nations MMA. Uh, you know, so they have a good, good, uh, good submission game. Referee Kevin Nix breaking up the fighters, just as it looked like uh, Brandon Wright. He's starting to get some of the control he wanted. 
But this is why the ref broke it up. He wanted to see more action. It looks like Brandon Wright really has stunned Wetzelein. Wetzelein almost turning his back. Wetzelein in serious trouble. Brandon Wright landing a nasty knee. And it was in the flurry, so we couldn't see it, but he landed right to the breadbasket. You can tell that Wesselin definitely got hurt with that. And now Brandon Wright taking advantage and getting him down to the ground. And uh, I think 30 seconds ago, Wetzelin would not have been taken down at that point. I think he was so exhausted from that heavy exchange that Brandon Wright was able to overpower him in a way that he couldn't have just uh, at the beginning of the round. Yeah, it was very hard to see that knee that landed right to the breadbasket and that made Westline kind of kind of cower down a little bit and make him hesitate. Uh, I, I think definitely that that affected the way that his cardio was at that moment. Now Westline looks a little bit tired of getting up. Of course, it's the body shots that really drain the strength out of a fighter and a lot of times the desire. That's right. Brandon Wright is doing the right thing. He, he needs to keep him at the end of his jab, at the end of his punches to be able to do this. Now, Westline, I feel like his advantage will be inside. So Wright needs to keep him on the outside, just like that. You can tell his reach is definitely creating some problems for Westline. Right. With his reach and height advantage. Oh, right. Again, another Kevin Nix low shot. In. We definitely, uh, I missed it, but yeah, I seen him throw a front kick. I wonder if it was a front kick that landed. Uh, I, I thought referee uh, Kevin Nix was jumping in because of a rabbit punch because, uh, I, I mean, I think it's, from what I saw, it unintentional, but I thought he was jumping in because uh, right had landed a right hand to the back of, uh, of Ron Wetzelon. But apparently it was a low blow that I missed entirely. Yeah, yeah, I missed it too. But uh, again, we, we we trust that these guys are honest, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure it landed, and and he he, he will have five minutes to, to take, you know, to take a a break. So, well, he's ready. If I was west of the line, I would have taken a little more time, knowing how tired he was. And he, especially especially the way he was grimacing after that shot. Brendan Wright very smartly working from the outside taking advantage of his arms and legs with a much superior reach to that of Wetzelon. Those knees are nasty. Wetzelon definitely looked like he's taking the, getting the toll taken on him for, with these knees. He does, and now Wetzelon wincing as Wright just pours in with heavy shots. Wetzelon looks like he doesn't want to be in this fight anymore. Kevin Nix agrees, jumps in, this fight is over. Referee stops contest in round number one. We'll have the time when we come back. Welcome back to Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This fight between Brandon Wright and Ron Wetzelein ended in the first. Let's get to the official time by sending it up in the ring to the marvelous Gerald Whalen. Brandon Wright from Chickasha, Oklahoma, notching up his fourth win inside the cage. We still have many more fights, including our main event, Julia Avila versus Ashley Dean. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. 